My name is Valerie Nyakunu. I'm a driver at UNOPS. Um, usually my day starts uh, very early because the sites that I work on are far apart. And it's really exciting um, that we are building infrastructure for these uh, vulnerable uh, communities. I'm really glad that uh, I've been a part of the team that has brought uh, so much change to the communities here. I destroy my gates. And the restoration of uh, energy has helped them very much because it will enable them to read at night and instead of them spending more time fetching firewood, uh, water and other tasks. It is these inaccessible communities which need help most uh, the people are now having classrooms which are big enough, uh, which have air ration and natural light. Uh, the students are able even to learn and to play, uh, and the structures are strong enough even if a cyclone comes. Foundation, we must go on and run away. There are zika two meters. Papa, now the Baza Baza zika two meters. There are far one meter four hundred. We're working hard to reach areas and some of the roads are unforgiving, especially when it rains. Uh, looking at uh, Pregnant women are walking long, long distances to reach the medical facilities. Uh, it breaks my heart. But what motivates me so much is that uh, when the road is kidding, I have to drive so that uh, the work will be completed, so that the pregnant women will deliver safely. I don't know when school children see me as I'm be driving almost every other day when we are at work, they get inspired. Even the contractors at the site, they are now employing also female drivers. Ndiri rola operator kumasimba. Dakangu farra o kambani edu kutiai kuru zira wakazi. Construction Company. We have uh, a river level gauging station that is in construction. Then we have an early warning system which is composed of a telemetry system which is able to pick the river level and send it to Harare, the Zinwa head office, where the flood warnings will be sent in case the river is level is risen. With uh, future warning um, systems like these for future floods, we have built resilience within these communities. When future storms arrive, they will be well prepared.